But let's let's start talk that. a little bit. Let's talk a little bit more about Compton. Actually, um, who are some of the the musical artists, okay. artists, whatever, movie stars? We know George Bush at t- one time lived in Compton. Who are some of the people that we may not even know are from Compton, but you 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 know are from Compton? You know, we know the Dr. Dre's, Easy E's, but who are some unsung Compton heroes? Uh, Kevin Costner lived in, in Compton at one point in time. Okay. Huh. Uh, the George, President George Bush lived in Compton. He lived in they call it Dominguez, but it's still Compton. It's like East Boy. Compton. Um, some of the achievements that people don't know about Compton is that Compton has the longest undefeated basketball league, bat, uh, high school basketball record um, in the history of CIF, but CIF won't put it in the book. That's right. Why is this? Because they were all black. Wow. Yeah. Uh. Okay. And the only game they lost, they got cheated out of. Hmm. Damn. The only game they lost, they, they I think they was undefeated for like two and a half, three seasons. And the, the one game, it was the one game that they lost, they lost in controversy. I forgot the exact the exact scenario. Uh, but uh, one, this is one of the things that, that the Compton Historical Society does is they had all the guys who are still living come to the Compton Library and do a presentation and talk about those seasons in Compton High School, kicking everybody's ass. Wow. Kicking everybody's ass. In fact, some of these guys were jumping so high, they went to the Olympics. Mm. A few of these guys stood right next to Carlos and the other brother in the 67 Olympics when they did the, the Black Power yeah. thing. They uh-huh. were standing right there, dude. Damn. They were standing right there. High school kids. Wow. That made the Olympic team. We have Olympic, we have Olympic participants, gold and gold and bronze, uh, gold, silver, and bronze medal winners from Compton, dude. But it, there's no Okay, it's like it's like the history of Compton. It's like the history of black folk. The good stuff that we do, somebody decides to hide it from us. Mm. All the good stuff that we've done in history, you got to go digging for it, man. Whether it be Compton, any other city, I mean, any other achievement, yeah. I never understood that. Yeah, I never understood that. So that's one of the things I like. I, I like doing. Um, at one point in time, Compton had two or three. We had two or three ball players from the same city in the playoff, I mean, in the, in the championship a few years ago. That was some, that was some, uh, some Compton history. Uh, I know we had wow. a, a couple of players from uh, Dominguez, uh, one player from Dominguez and one from, uh, I think it was Compton High School in the fi- in the playoffs or the finals. I know the, the Marjorie Rosian and another, uh, he went to Compton High School, another brother went, went to Dominguez. They were all in the playoffs at one time together. Yeah. Okay. We got, we got, Gangs of baseball players. Compton was a serious baseball city for years. And we had a lot of prominent black baseball players come through Compton. You got some Hall yeah. of Famers, man. We got Hall of mm. Fame football players. But it's like, shh, don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody. All they good for is shooting each other. Don't tell nobody. And that's something I hope uh, when Emma Sharif becomes the mayor of Compton, because I've been on her head for a long time about this. Every, every city councilman, mm. Every uh, mayor, I've made it. My, I've made it my business to get in their face about the history of Compton, and I feel that Compton needs a walk of fame to show people how great Compton really is, dude. Yeah, yeah, that's so true, man. And you mentioned a hidden hand. You know, um, my aunt. When I was growing up, my aunt lived in Compton, but one day her mail suddenly said Rancho Dominguez. Um, I'm assuming that they did that to separate themselves from yeah. Compton. Every well, see, Rancho Dominguez is an unincorporated part of Compton. Mm-hmm. Um, where I lived at is an unincorporated part of Compton, also, but it was on the um, uh, I guess it was West West Compton. Okay, I lived just outside of Compton. My club was just outside of Compton in an unincorporated part, and that was actually called Rosewood. It's called mm-hmm. Rosewood uh, even right now. And, and what I'm what, Rosewood address, but there's no Rosewood Police Department, there's no Rosewood mm-hmm. Mayor. It's like it's like the Dara Heights. There's no there's no mayor of the Dara Heights. It's just it's just a territory, it's just an area. And um but Compton, as the rep, as the reputation got worse and worse, people start separating themselves from Compton. If you go, it used to be a time you could roll from all the way from um I don't know. Atlantic, I'm not Atlantic, but uh, Lakewood, and you would you would run under Compton Boulevard. But after but after a certain point in time, 
it changes. Somerset. <laughs> Change to Somerset, okay? Mm -hmm. And the same thing in Gardena. Um, it used to be, you could go to County Boulevard all the way to the beach. Once you cross, once you pass up Rosecrans Park and get hit Vermont, Compton Boulevard turns into Marine. Damn. Because nobody wants to be associated with Compton. Mm, 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 all right. Mm. And that, that happened in the 80s. Mm. That happened in the 80s. It's Compton Boulevard ran all the way to the beach, well, that next to the beach, so I think it's the uh, Civil Coast Highway until the 80s. And all of a sudden, ain't nothing but now we change it. We get, we just associate ourselves. We get, we turn this into Marine. Okay. Mm. And it wasn't even a call that the people of Compton had, had a call in. That was the fact that Compton had so much going on. People, if you're coming down Pacific Coast Highway, all of a sudden you look up in the Compton Boulevard, you might have a heart attack. If you're the wrong color, <laughs> hey, shit, we in Compton. No, you're not in Compton. You're still uh, in all right, yeah. You're in Bellflower. Calm down. You're still in the most beach of Bellflower. You're not in Compton. <laughs> but, you know, that was the that vibe, was, man. So then people start disassociating themselves. Mm. Damn. 